Well, like I said, I grew up going to a more liberal high school at the time and thinking I wanted to be a Nader's Raider kind of guy. So during Carolina, about my junior year, I had one of these, uh, I think it was Socrates, that said, an unexamined life is not worth living. Well, I had a very examined life my, my junior year. And we might have talked about it, I don't know. Uh, I think I was taking Dr. Daniel's existential class, which freaked me out. I mean, I, could, I couldn't believe that life was, we're here. Uh, he, he used to say, well, and women grow hairy legs and hairy underarms and men have bad breath and then you die. You know, that was the essence of life. Mm -hmm. I was going, God, that's just a miserable way to think about going through. Mm -hmm. But I was going through this uh, kind of a crisis of faith and trying to figure out, you know, what did I believe? That Was there any, anything beyond what we have here? Um, so that, that year was uh, a pretty deep period for me to, to just think. So I started going to church, which was kind of unusual in college. Went to a Bible study at the Beta House, Randall Williams, Doug Alexander, and we were over there with Tim Stump, and you know we had a Bible study our senior year, so that was kind of unusual. But but it really helped me uh, kind of figure out what what I believed in, what I didn't, how how I wanted my life to to try to be. And then after that, uh, it really I, I read a lot of religion courses when I was here, a lot of history. We did a lot of military history. I finally wound up in religion. I had, to, I had to declare my major my senior year, and the, uh, the counselor said, well, Mr. Hill, you got four in economics and three in history and four in English. Why don't you, I said, well, I don't think I really want to. This is after I decided I didn't want to go to law school because I'd worked with a judge that summer on the internship and said, I, I can't do this. And he said, well, what class did you like the best? I said, Dr. Bernard Boyd, who was here at Chapel Hill. Yeah. And um, I had him for a month in a religion class. And he said, well, why don't you major in religion? I said, okay, so I will. So I took seven out of 10 classes in my senior year in religion. It was, but it was, uh, now the Presbyterian part of me comes out and says that was for a reason, because I learned a lot and I enjoyed it. Uh, Dr. Boyd, two years before that, I had him for a month and he died. He had a stroke. But I remember that, that first month, this, this man had a charisma. I mean, it wasn't like an aura or anything like that. He just effused integrity and faith and gentleness and intelligence. He combined the whole thing. And I remember thinking, this is the most unusual guy I've ever been around. So then he died, and I felt like I really got cheated.